Hey there, second graders. Today we started a new book called The Chalk Box Kid. Like chalk, like you can see he's drawing. Looks like on a chalkboard with chalk. Hmm, makes you kind of wonder like, is the kid gonna be artistic somehow? What's the fascination with chalk? It's written by Clyde Robert Beulah, Beulah and illustrated by Thomas B. Allen. So we're just gonna read the first chapter today, which is called The Room. And there's the main character, his name is Gregory. Gregory heard the clock strike. It was an hour till midnight. His birthday would soon be over. He went to the door and looked out into the street. Shut the door, said Aunt Grace. I thought I heard a car, he said. Gregory, his aunt said, the cold air is coming in. He shut the door. He went back and sat by her on the sofa. His tablet and paints and brushes were out on the table, but he didn't feel much like painting. So paint, but not chalk. He sat there and tried to watch television with Aunt Grace. It had been a long day. So far, it was his very worst birthday. He had wanted to go with mother and daddy. They were moving to another house and he hadn't seen it yet. If you go with us, you'll just get tired, mother said. I want you to stay with Aunt Grace. He thought she didn't remember what day it was. He had told her, I'm nine years old today. I know, she said, and I'm sorry we can't have a cake or party. There's just no time, we have to finish moving. But he kept thinking there would be something for his birthday. He went to the door again. This time the car was there and mother was getting out. She came up to the door. She had, a, she had on old clothes and she looked tired. Hello, Grace, she said. Thank you for keeping Gregory. Are you ready, Gregory? He picked up his tablet and paints and brushes and was ready. They went out to the car. Mom sat up front with daddy. Gregory got into the back. They drove across the city. Gregory went to sleep. When he woke up, they had stopped under a street light. The light shone on a house. Is this it, he asked. This is it, said Daddy. Daddy had lost his job at the factory. Now he had a different job. That was why they had to move. The house was small and it needed paint. It looked as if it had grown out of the sidewalk. There was no yard at all. They went inside. Gregory saw boxes and papers. He saw bare walls. You'd better go to bed, said mother. Where, he asked. She showed him a room. His bed was in it. His chair and table were in it too. He asked, is it, is it mine? Do you like it? Mom asked. Oh yes, he said. It used to be a porch, she told him. We had a wall put in and the window. There was something for his birthday. There was something better than a cake or a party. And there's Gregory looking at his new room. Go to bed now, said mother, and she went and left him there. He sat on the bed and looked at the room. It was not very wide, but it was long. It was a big room for such a little house. He looked at the floor and the walls and the ceiling. He looked at every corner. This is what he had always wanted, a room of his own. He heard a clock strike. His birthday was over and it was the best birthday he had ever had. In the comments, tell me why Gregory thinks this is the best birthday he's ever had. And stay tuned tomorrow for chapter two.